Hello guys, some of you have been wondering the kind of DC motor I've been using. So guys, let's check this out. First of all, we turn it on from the switch. So guys, the DC motor you guys are seeing right here was gotten from a vehicle radiator fan. So despite the battery we are using right here, it's very very low. This battery has not been charged for like 3 days now. But the generator was able to generate current up to like 100 plus volts. So guys, this is the radiator fan which we got the DC motor from. You can see how big it is. You can see how the blade is very very big. So guys, the DC motor was attached somewhere here. So this was where I removed it and uh, we used it for the generator. So when getting um, a DC motor for your generator, it is best to look out for the RPM. You need to make sure that the DC motor you're going to be using, the RPM for the DC motor is supposed to be around 3000 RPM max or 3500 rpm it should not be lower than 3000 rpm because each of these um, alternator they generate current at around 3000 rpm so it is best to use a dc motor that has an rpm or a speed of around 3000 rpm so guys you can see it um, which i got the dc motor from so guys you can decide to get the dc motor separately but i just want you guys to know because i've been having a lot of questions about where did i get the dc motor i'm using for the project and uh, when i try to check the side i notice i notice there's a badge right here which says ford so this was gotten from a ford vehicle and uh, if we look at the back you can see how the back is if we take a look at the side you can see it it is written in french so this was gotten from a very good so guys that's the type of dc motor i'm using for the project so guys i'm still working on the chargeback system and i'm going to be updating you guys soon about the chargeback system so guys stay tuned and i'll see you guys in the next upload take care guys